What's up guys, Blade here, and you already know, you see the whip, ooh, um, so this is a video that I said I was gonna make, how to get iPhone tires, or slash, um, what's it called, Benny's wheels on smaller vehicles, like the um, Street Blazer or the Panto, as I got, I think I showed you guys in the video, I think I showed you guys the Panto, I'm not sure, but, since there's, I don't think there's a video of people showing how to get in like smaller vehicles like this, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Yes, there's like an extra step to this, which is kind of annoying, but I'm gonna show you guys. So the, the only downside to this video is that I'm not gonna show you guys how to get the F1 size Benny Wheels on Darcy Bandito because I literally try. I literally tried to record this video two times, like trying to get it on Darcy Bandito, and I cannot get it again. So I already have the wheels. So if you guys already have the wheels, you can keep on watching the video. Or, I don't know, because I literally cannot, I already have them as you guys can see over there. It's kind of far, kind of blurry. I'm going to show you guys in a second. So, the recommend the recommendation for the video is, obviously having an RC Bandito on Arena. RC Bandito with iPhone tires, or Benny tires, whatever you want. And having the car you want to, having an XID Proto right there as you guys can see. And the car, or <laughs> quad, in my case, they want to transfer the wheels to. So basically, you have to start off by getting into your X80 Proto and pressing right on the D-pad to modify it. Okay, let me see. Okay, so once you guys are here, exit the vehicle and you'll see that your door fall off, falls off. So from here, this is what you're going to have to do. Wait a minute, there's something missing. Hold up. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Okay. I don't... Wait, what? Drink a beer? Never seen this before. Um, basically, you have to get this woman and the mechanic next to the... Next to the car, but I don't know why she's not standing where she's supposed to. So, let me just fast forward this and, like, leave the thing and come back and see what happens. Okay, now the woman over here is kind of closer to the door. Sometimes she'll be right there, right here where I'm standing, standing like this on her phone. But I assume, turn around please. Oh, it's because I'm pointing. She'll be standing like this and like this is a little bit easier, but I guess it'll still work. You just have to get the door in here and just pull her out. So first of all, let's start off by taking her out from their parking next to the city proto. It, this is kind of annoying. You have to like get the door and like move the mechanic and the woman right next to the proto. But it's worth it because obviously the, the cards are good. And the quad in my opinion. I have my own quad and I wish my quad had like was that wide. But whatever. So let me by the way something to keep in mind if your door gets stuck like it just happened to me. You guys just want to go into your X80 Proto, press right on D-pad to modify it, fix it, and just take the door off again, and the door will fall off again. And also something else that you guys can keep in mind, if your mechanic or the woman over there um, like gets stuck, all you have to do is take your X80 Proto out of the garage, or just walk out of the garage, and walk back in the reset, something to keep in mind. Okay, so now once you guys got her out of the garage or whatever she was at, you just want to try to move her. Now she's stuck right when I start talking. You want to move her right next to the X80 Proto. Okay, like right next to as close as possible to X80 Proto. So from here, you're going to have to get into the X80 Proto and repair the door again. <laughs> this looks so weird. And make it fall off like that. And then from here, you have to get the mechanic and do the same thing. Try to get him right next to X-ray Pro. So let me just fast forward again. Okay. 
Okay, so now once you got your mechanic close to the X-ray proto, same thing as a woman, get him close, right there, somewhere around there, pretty close. See, this looks really weird. Okay, so how I was saying before my recording stopped twice, <laughs> this is weird how they're like right next to each other, but that's how the glitch needs to work. You need to try them to get them as close as possible to the door. To, to there and then from there you just want to bring your x80 proto return this to storage okay don't press right on the deep i mean don't press gas because if you press gas you'll leave and um you're gonna have to do this again so then from here what you want to do is bring the card you want to transfer the f1 tires slash bending tires to into the workshop so by pressing right on the d-pad I think they're gonna move. If they move, that means, yeah, they kinda move, so that means that your thing is pretty good. Pretty, They're pretty close to the thing, so that means it's gonna glitch out. You'll see what I mean in a second. So now exit the vehicle. And if you do this correctly, when you press triangle, you'll like walk towards the car and teleport. So right there, I teleported to the car, so that means you're, you're so far you're good. Now from here, go to jobs and delete every job you have. Right there, I can't delete that one because of the heist, but that doesn't matter. And now from here, you want to request a job from Simeon. Hello, I'm not going to lie, this looks kind of sus. But it's okay. <laughs> Alright, now wait for, the, for you guys to receive the job. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there goes the job. So from here, you want to go to RC Bandito. And go in it and exit it right out of it. You don't have to do nothing to it. So from here, you're going to... This is like kind of hard so you're gonna have to press triangle pull up the job press options to bring pull up press options right after accept the job so let me show you guys you're gonna press triangle to like walk into the car and then you're gonna as soon as quick as possible you're gonna go right here to this invitation just press options and triangle and then if you hear in the background you're gonna hear a clip and then from once you do that you're gonna press options again and then you're gonna like teleport to the car and then press as fast as you can press um left on the d-pad left not right left to return the car to storage so let me just do this again okay guys so let me just explain this again when you guys are on this screen you guys are gonna press options and then x then you guys are gonna the map is gonna come up and then you're gonna press options again to remove the map then you're gonna press left on the d-pad and the job is gonna pop up once the job pops up you just press circle to leave circle x to leave and then just modify the vehicle so the game saves that's it let me just show you guys how to do it. By the way, if you guys mess up, you're gonna have to go back to the RC Bandito and do the same thing. So let me do this this time. This is kind of inconsistent, so you might mess it up. So let me see. Okay. Oh wow! I actually, wow! I actually hit it first try. Okay. So now from here, you're gonna be sent to the job. Now all you have to do is exit from it and then get back into the car. As you guys see, the F1 tire is transferred. I can't believe I literally hit it first try. <laughs> that was the first time I've ever done it. So since I did it first try, I'm gonna show you guys another car to do it, just in case you guys didn't understand. So from here, all you have to do is go back in and literally change anything you want. So from here, I'm just gonna modify the car a little bit. Put some, let's say, some red, white, actually. And I do whatever you want, modify it, whatever. The modifications kind of transfer some of them, like the engine, transmission, and turbo. No, no, engine, turbo, but the transmission does not transfer. So you could just do whatever you want, modify however you want. Um, this looks kind of cool. It's my crew color, might as well. Let me do the, the little pearlescent glitch. Let me just, for some reason, that works for me. Oh, it's over there. And, um,. Yeah, that's basically it so far. And now let me do this one more time to show you guys. I explain it a little bit better because since I hit it first try, I couldn't explain it that good. Okay, so let me try it on the on this now on the street blazer. Okay. So from here again, bring your car, bring your vehicle into the workshop. By the way, also now that I do this glitch, you don't need to use a mechanic if you want. You can use that lady. You don't need to have the mechanic because it's kind of uncomfortable. My, I might be using this lady more than the mechanic because it's easier to get. She's easier to, you know, move. So now from here, just check if you want, if you teleport. So as you guys see, I tell, I can teleport right there. I teleported. Now from here, all you want to do is again, go to your Bandito, exit the workshop, 
and then press triangle up in the d-pad to bring your phone options x options again and then right on the d-pad i literally hit it first time again left on the d-pad i'm sorry left and i hit it first time again so again all you have to do is to have, hop back in press right on the d-pad and modify it i can't believe i literally hit that first try twice <laughs> that's i've never done that before so basically that was a short little video hope this video helped you out i know it did not show how to get transfer the card to Archie Bandito merge i'm sorry i literally could not hit it i tried but i can't so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe oh, and I, as a repeat comment any anything you want to be featured in this video the person they got featured in my video who commented on my um my alpha video is i forgot let me just pull it up it's shadow reaper so shout out to you and um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe hope this helped you out and i'm out